Welcome to everyone uh, today, and uh, it's lovely to see you all, so thank you for the invitation, and it is a pleasure to join you. As our call to worship today, we're going to move into Scripture, uh, Psalm 127, verses 1 to 5, and I'll read. Unless the Lord builds the house, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for you grant sleep to those he loves. Sons are a heritage from the Lord, children a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior, are sons born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. Yes, bless you. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their enemies in the gates. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We're now going to turn to our song, which is number 96. Great is thy faithfulness.
Let us pray for all people across the world today and all women on this Mothering Sunday. Whether they be biological mothers and or spiritual mothers. We pray for the Ukraine at this time. Lord, let your peace prevail. Protect both mothers and children fleeing persecution and the men that are there holding that line. We pray for each and every family member. We pray for all women within the church, mothers, widows, spinsters. Be with all women. Let them know your presence and will in their lives. Let us remember all the women in our community here of Weaver Castle, both young and old. Let them know your presence and your love, we pray. Amen. Amen. And we're going to move into our Old Testament reading, which is taken from Psalm 139, verses 13 to 14. Well, I've got the turn on again after the singing. No problem. <laughs> right. But you have a good voice. I was going to say, it copes for this sort of, uh, yeah, <laughs> wouldn't work in Wembley. <laughs> so, um, Psalm 139, verses 13 to 14. I was very tempted, I think it's one of my favourite psalms to read the whole thing anyway. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> um, well, I will just read this. Um, no, I'll, I'll add a couple more. Verse 13. Uh, this is God's complete knowledge and care is the title. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because you are to be feared. All you do is strange and wonderful. I know it with all my heart. When my bones were being formed, carefully put together in my mother's womb, when I was growing dead in secret, you knew that I was there. You saw me before I was born. The days allotted to me had all been recorded in your book before any of them had ever begun. Oh God, how difficult I find your thoughts. How many of them there are. If I counted them, they would be more than the grains of the sand. Grains of sand. Yeah, it's a bit more than we asked for, but it's a wonderful. No, it is. It's, it's a wonderful. Shall I go to the, the New Testament? Yes, please. And that's Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. Now we seem to have gone back to Christmas. <laughs> this is the beginning of Luke, and it's there is the song of praise, so called the Magnificat. Mary said, My heart praises the Lord, my soul is glad because of God my Saviour, that he has remembered me, his lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me happy, because of the great things the mighty God has done for me. His name is holy. From one generation to another, he shows his mercy to those who honour him. He has stretched out his mighty arm and scattered the proud with all their plans. He has brought down mighty kings from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has kept the promise he made to our ancestors and has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered to show mercy to Abraham and to all of his descendants forever. Praise God. Thank you very much. And we're now going to stand and sing the hymn, How Great Thou Art, 117. How Great Thou Art.
more that chorus with our voices only. Yeah. And let's see if we can. Then we sing my soul, my Saviour God. Lord, we thank you that we can meet here today in safety, in shelter, in warmth, and with your protection around this place. We thank you for the rich heritage that we've mentioned and spoken about today. And we pray that this place may once again reach all members of this community and lead many to know you as Lord and Saviour. And we thank we pray this. In Jesus' precious name, that there may be a myriad of voices singing how great thou art in their individual lives, their individual circumstances, transforming this community, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Wonderful. So, we're going to move into the talk. Um, and then, um, an unusual one for myself, really. I took some of the readings from Roots, which I was uh, glad to do for this uh, Mothering Sunday. But it's a slightly unusual one. I, I like to think there's a bit of a punch and a drive when I'm delivering. But uh, today we're going to chuck through like a train, I believe. But I pray that God will move each one of us. So we read from Psalm 127 which talked about the blessing of being a parent. And I know that I think actually everyone in this room echoes parenthood by myself. So a, a privilege and a blessing, whether that be biological or adoptive, and it speaks about the reward that children bring. So I pray that that's something we can all echo. And then our reading from Psalm 139, it reminds us how our Heavenly Father forms us and knits us together in our mother's womb. And that each and every one of us are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, praise God. And I don't do this often either, but I'd like you to turn to someone on your, uh, shall we say, right? And I'd like you to declare over them, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God delights in you. So you turn to the person on your right, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God delights in you. And if you'd like to turn to the person on your left, and again, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God delights in you. Praise God. So then, the passage from Luke 1 reminds us of Mary, the physical vessel in which God formed and birthed our miraculous Saviour, Jesus Christ, into this world. Blessed as the handmaiden of God, blessed to be a woman. And on Wuthering Sunday, when in the world that we live in, there was such a confusion about the role of the woman. Let us never forget to uphold the special role, the special privilege of the woman. And women and all that they are are cherished, loved and so important. Not just on Mother's Day, but every day within the church 
and the life of the church. So today we mark the mother and it's lovely to look around and see that many of you have been blessed in that way. But the mother, whether a biological mother with your own children or the spiritual mother called to adopt, foster, pray and come alongside people utilising that maternal ministry. And for those listening in remotely or watching remotely, that is the call of God on each and every saint's life, whether male, female or child, but to come along and give out all those gifts that God has bestowed upon us. But all women are loved, valued, and have that specific maternal ministry within the body of Christ. The role of the matriarch are just a few words that I feel associated with a matriarch. Strong, maternal, loyal, steadfast, steadfast and consistent. And I'd like you to take a moment now to think about your own mother and that experience and to just, in a few moments of silence, apart from the hand uh, thank God for your mother and everything that she did for you. So let's just pause for a few moments and reflect on our own mother. Wonderful. And I pray that you said a prayer for that blessing that I trust all your mothers were for you. And a clear example, I think, that of a matriarch to all of us. I hope I'm not going to be chased out of the church. But Queen Elizabeth II, head of the church as the institution, head of the monarchy and head of state, a mother like no other, strong, maternal, loyal, steadfast and consistent. And mentioned in 2022, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Year, the mother, the queen, and an example of 70 years of service. Praise God. However, let us not forget in our prayers the Ukrainian mothers that we pray for and other women that are refugees, sheltering her children from bombs and bullets. At this time. The working mother may be locally in Weaver Castle in an Aston uniform struggling to work and feed her family. And dare I say it without making anyone blush, the sex worker locally in, dare I say it, and Anne Summer's uniform, tucking their child into bed and going to work on the streets. The local addict struggling between the next bottle of alcohol or syringe in the arm, opposed to feeding and clothing their child. All realities within Weed Castle 2022, the Platinum, Platinum, sorry, Jubilee Year. And then looking around, and uh, I'm not beating on anyone with this comment, but in our middle class comfort before us here today, I assume, let us take a moment to remember our mothers and perhaps our mothers, mothers. 
And I mention that because some of you may know the pedigree and the stock that I've come from, but I'm going to allude to that now. A working class widow raising five children, of which only four survived, living in Ladywood. A hard working, working class woman, a widow raising a child in the mid 1940s in the Wheeling Castle estate. Two matriarchs of grandparents that led into where we are today. And what a privilege to remember those women. And of course, my biological mother. But possibly, those examples are used there. Two atypical Wheelie Cattle women. We should never forget our roots. And maybe we should think um, in moving forward as a church and as a community presence here. How would your mother perceive our church today? Stepping into this place of welcome, warmth, and you know, the opportunity to worship and praise God. This is something we should always endeavour to recreate, to bring men to that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And let us hold those thoughts and prayerfully remember all women today, whatever their trajectory, their path and their start in life, as some of those that we alluded to. But for each and every one of us here, born, um, here today, born of our mother's womb, it would be remiss if I didn't read from John chapter 3, verses 3 to 7. We acknowledge our maternal birth, but as we read John chapter 3, verses 3 to 7, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born when he is old, Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and of the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. Praise God. But born of the Spirit, born to love and serve, unconditionally, just as Christ ministered, to point men to that same truth. And it is a privilege, because as I say, I'm not bragging anyone here today, but it is a privilege to remember that heritage, that history, and where we've come from, and the commission to reach the women in and around this community today in 2022. So to remember that first love, that experience of being born again, and to share that story with all Women on Mother and Sunday, steering the household into the house of God and all and sundry. Praise God. Now we're going to stand if you're able to, and we're going to sing um, Seek Ye First, the Kingdom of God, 512. We often see this as a round, but I think there's not enough people to do it. <laughs> I was going to say that, Christine, I was uh, breaking into a sweat when, you, when I thought of this song. Yeah. <laughs>
together. I think we'll pray the um, traditional form at the top of the uh, book there, the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to um, just say a prayer. That's right, yeah. These people are so often just doing it by the end of the Oh, yeah. So they say, if people want to leave an offering, they're going to leave an offering. Oh, no. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, as a token, although it's coming in bank transfer, we'll just pray now. Dear Lord, we just pray now for every penny, every copper that hits that plate, Lord. We pray for multiplication for your kingdom purposes. We pray for growth. We pray for kingdom vision. And we pray that many may receive the gospel through outreach, evangelism and mission from this place of rich heritage, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Wonderful. And if you're able to, please stand. We're going to sing, um, Guide Me, O oh, Thou Great Jehovah, 345. But just before we do, let us make it a prayer as we sing you, that we will be guided into these heathen lands around us of Weary Castle and all the places that we know and love so dearly to profess that gospel. Thank you, Ted.
we can take our seats for a moment, but uh, we're going to ask that we do something else, a little bit uh, unconventional. Just as I think our choir might be arriving through the door, is there a few individuals coming? No, I don't think so, are they? I think, no, I think they're on the way, but uh, I was wondering, could we sing that song again, Ted? I'll go in the other great Jehovah. Yeah, it's not too much trouble. <laughs> Because <laughs> Marie did seem to enjoy this one. You're rocking, weren't you, in the uh, song? <laughs> so I thought we could sing it again. And we didn't have uh, Christine singing in Welsh, so. <laughs> yeah. I actually I, I struggled to sing the first line because I was just uh, thinking reminiscently how lovely it is to hear that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give some flowers out later, aren't we? I yeah, love hearing the uh, the Welsh kicking in as well. It's wonderful. I can't get it to do. Oh. Ah, um, no problem. We'll do it. I'll tell you what. We'll just stand and we'll sing just voices. I think. Yeah. Let us stand in for Abel. Three hundred and forty-five. Guide me, Lord. Now bring me to Give me a moment. We can bring the I'll bring you on the book. There we go. Uh, uh,
the strength directly from the word of God, Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And Ted's going to share the notices with us. First of all, many thanks to Joe for 